Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can get current user details using Power Automate. So we will see how we can get current user details like email address, display name, department, country like this by using Power Automate. So the current user means the logged in user. So whoever logged in or who is trying to access that flow or run that flow, it will give those details. Now if you have not get my previous video, uh, go watch, uh, watch that previous video. I have explained it there how we can get uh, username from email address or how we can get an email address from a particular username. So those things I have explained it. I will put the link in the video description. You can have a look at that. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. You will get a lot of free videos on Power Automate, Power BI, uh, Power Apps, SPFX, SharePoint. All these videos you will get it. Now coming back to our today's uh, thing, so here we will see how we can get basically user profile details uh, by using your Office 365 account. So there are various Office 365 users uh, um, workflow actions are there or the flow actions are there which you can use in our uh, Power Automate. So not even Power Automate, even you can get this in Power Apps, Logic App, all these things you can do it. Now, if you look at this actions, there are various actions are there. For example, you can see direct reports. Uh, there is also get manager. So if you want to get manager of a particular employee, then it will you can use this get manager v2 uh, action. And then you can see here get my profile v2. This is what is we are going to use here, which will get the profile of the current user. Uh, and then there are other flow actions are there let's say get relevant people trending documents uh, get user photo if you want to retrieve photo then you can use this action now look at another things also you can see here it is saying that uh, there is a flow action get user photo v1 that is already deprecated so you should not use that instead of that you should use the uh, latest one which is there so in this case it is get user photo v2 same way you can see here get user profile let's say you want to get user profile a specific user you can put the email address and you can use in this flow action same way you can see there are uh, update my profile if you want to update profile uh, from your microsoft flow or power automate then you can use this action if you want to update your profile photo then you can use this action here update my profile photo flow action now this is what we are going to use now in this particular uh, example we'll see here get my profile v2 so in this one if you'll see it is uh, explaining that you retrieve the profile of the current user so current user means the logged in user and uh, the parameter that uh, you can see it is uh, select field so uh, let's say there might have been certain scenario you just want to get the display name or the email address or maybe two three properties so you can in this case you can select properties you can add by using comma here you can see house or name department job a title like this you can provide the fields by using comma now if you will uh, click over here this uh, link properties link by the way i'll put the link in the video description so you can have a look at that now these are the properties that you can get it for example about me account enabled so these are the properties same way if you'll see if you want to get user birthday you can get it like this if you want to get business phone city company name you can see here country so these are the properties that we can access there are various properties are there you can see here department display name so ideally you should follow this document to get the particular property and these are the properties that you can use it to access the properties of that particular user now what we'll do is we'll create our flow so i'll go to flow.microsoft.com so it will if you have not logged in then it will ask you to log in so you log into it by using your office 365 account and once you logged in then you can see this page you will come up to this page here if you'll see there is a uh, create button is there so click on this create and then you can see here uh, for this particular example we will use the instant cloud cloud flow so what will happen on that is uh, it will you can flow, run the flow manually so if you'll see here i will give a name for it i'll say let's say get your current user details now let me just make the spelling correct here so and then i'll say uh, manually trigger this flow so that we'll have a button where we can uh, run it manually and then click on create so once you click on create by default you can see here manually trigger this flow 
on this we are going to add our action so as i explained before so which action we are going to use here is get my profile v2 so you can see here there should be a you can select here office 365 user also and here you can use get my profile v2 so basically this is the action that we are going to use in this case you can see the parameter is select fields so this is optional parameter anyway so if you will not assign anything then it will get all the properties so whatever the properties user have can have all these properties you can get it but if you want to uh, just access certain properties then you can pass like this you can see here uh, let's say two three properties if you want to access then you can uh, pass like comma and then the property name like this so once you have this in this particular uh, example what i'll do is we will send an email let's say i will say send um, send an email so basically the flow action here uh, the outlook one so if i'll go here you can see send outlook send an email v2 so you can have it and whom you want to um, send the email in this case maybe uh, let's say you can go to the dynamic properties and you can see there is a mail is there so that means whatever the user his email id will be there so this will be basically the logged in user so you can select it subject you can gain, give anything let's say i will say current user details so you can see like this current user details and uh, then the body so in the body let's say we will get some other properties like i will say display name so you can see here display name and i'll choose the property from here if you look at here you can see this all these properties are from our get my profile v2 so in this case if you look at here so these are the properties so here i will say let's say display name and then i will let's say i will get uh, the department if it will be there so let's say department i'll pass it here i will select this department here so apart from that uh, let me access some other property so let's say uh, user principal name i'll access it here user principal name so i will select that property so any property whatever you can see it here those properties will be able to access it now what i'll do is i'll save this so you can see here i saved it uh, since this is a automated flow so what we can do is we can run it manually so you can see it is showing me that the flow is ready to go either you have a run button you can see it here or you can go to my flow and then you can see here this is our flow there is a run button if i'll hover it i think if you'll select it also you can get a run button so anything you can run it so i'll click on run so you can see here it is asking us to sign in so to get the permission i'll add it and then it is saying run flow so we got this uh, button and now it is saying that the flow successfully started so we'll see actually what it is so i'll click on this flow name where you can see the details so flow details and the connection so one who is the owner of this flow and then the history also so in this history if you look at it our, our flow run it eight seconds ago so i'll click over here will be able to see this property so you can see here all green so that means uh, the flow run successfully so if you we'll click over here you can see the input we have not given anything so these are the property so output if you'll see here you can see the properties that we are getting it account enabled to true i have not said the birthday so that is the region it is coming your business phone number display name given name all these things are there so whatever the property we have uh, added in our uh, email so you can see here it is showing us display name department i have not assigned so it is empty uh, then you can see here user principal name and here my email id is coming and uh, if i'll go to my email so definitely i will have access um, definitely there will be an email so i'll just click sign in so now let's see our email you can see here sorry you can see current user details and this is the email i received because we provide the email and then display name department and user principal name so all these things we received it here now this is how we can work with uh, the flow action to get current user uh, details 
and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get lot of sharepoint office 365 power platform spfx videos microsoft teams videos also you will get lot of videos on that so thank you and have a nice day